No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey guys, Andy with No Film School. I am here at the Zeiss booth with Tony, who is going to talk about some updates to using their CP3 line of lenses. Hey, I'm um, glad you stopped by. What we're talking about today is the ability to use the CP3 on a wide range of full-frame sensor cameras. We all know that the Venice is coming out, the new, the new Sony uh, uh, camera, as well as the Canon camera and the Alexa LF. Um, Zeiss has lenses that are ready and, and, and to be able to put on all of those cameras from the, from the day you purchase it. So now what we're, we're able to do is rather than waiting for those lenses to come out or waiting for additional focal lengths, Zeiss has the ability to give you vocal lengths between 15 and 135 millimeter right now that you can put on that. And these are all the CP3 line? Or? That is correct. Yeah, it's the Compact Primes, our CP3 versions. Um, additionally, all of those lenses also have the ability to get the metadata out of the lens as well. So using the Cook Eye protocol, we can talk to the camera through the PL mount and you get all of that information that, that Cook uh, provides, 16 to 20 uh, different attributes coming through the lens. Additionally, what Zeiss provides you is the ability to get the, uh, the uh, lens shading and the lens and the data the distortion data out of the lens as well it actually is preset from the factory so the lens actually knows that information about itself time was if you needed to do that work on um, some green screen st uh, stitching or some compositing you would have to take the lens um, and, uh, shoot charts from a bench create your own LUTs and then back that calibration out in your post-production. Now it's the click of a button. The lens knows all this information about itself. It's providing that on a frame-by-frame -frame basis. And you simply go to your DIT station, you click off, you turn off the lens distortion or the lens shading, and immediately you have that information available to strip out of the look. Uh, let's talk pricing points. So what's it for one lens versus uh, the whole kit? So uh, lens by lens, um, with, the, with the metadata, it's running around $4,700 um, thereabouts. Uh, so, but if you, if you bundle those, anything above three, five, seven, there's uh, quantity discounts that range from seven to 15%. Fantastic, what are the kind of, what's the kind of metadata you can get in on the, from the lens? So from the lens itself, you can get um, everything that Cook, uh, that Cook provides, which is aperture, focal distance, and all of that information, uh, pupil, pupil distance. Um, but additionally, on top of that, le we provide the, the lens shading and the lens distortion, which right now nobody else does. And these all have full frame coverage? They are. All, everything that we down do is the 18 full frame. millimeter? Yeah, absolutely, down to the 18 millimeter. It'll cover the Alexa LF. So. These are, what mounts do these all come in? Um, they can come in uh, PL, EF, um, or E traditionally. Um, um, and if you need to change the mounts, uh, the mount, uh, there's separate mounts that you can purchase so that once you have a lens, you can move it from camera to camera um, in a cost-effective manner. Well, fantastic. Great update. Yeah, Thank great. you, Tony.